Now, the Miami Dolphins are a really scary team in 2023, man. Like, I'm going to keep it a beam with y'all. I know a lot of y'all Dolphins fans don't really like me like that because I never really talk high on Tua, but it's not like I think Tua is a trash quarterback. As a matter of fact, I think that Tua is a top 10 QB. I have him ranked eighth right now in the NFL amongst QB. So you can definitely win a Super Bowl with Tua Tagovailoa. And if Tua Tagovailoa can stay healthy and this offensive line can play better than what I expect it to be, like, this is a team that has more than a great chance of being able to win the Super Bowl. Like, my only concerns with the Dolphins is this offensive line and Tua's health. If both of those things aren't a question this year, the Dolphins are going to be in the conversation to win it all this year. I mean, they have all, arguably the fastest NFL offense. You got Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Chosen Anderson. You got Raheem Monster, that running back. He's one of the fastest running backs in the game right now. You got Devon A-Chain who was the fastest running back coming out of this past year's draft. I mean, it's just speed all over the place. They got a NASCAR team on offense. And then their defense with Vic Vangio is probably going to be either the best or second best defense in the NFL, probably behind the Dallas Cowboys. Like Vic Vangio's defense is being used by nearly half of the defensive coordinators in the NFL. Like this dude is the godfather of this defense that's been used all around the NFL. They call it the Fangio Six. And now you got the godfather at the helm at defensive coordinator who's going to be a, a upgrade from the defensive coordinator that you had last year, which, by the way, I'm going to take my victory lot because I told you Dolphins fans that he wasn't a good D.C. Brown Flores took over play calling the year prior to last season. That's why that defense turned around. But whatever, I just had to take my victory lap on that. But when you look at this Dolphins defense, you got a really good cornerback duo with Jalen Ramsey and Xavier Howard. Now, Xavier Howard had a down year, but hopefully playing with Jalen Ramsey and being able to have a better defensive coordinator will get, will get him back on his feet. You got Javon Holland, one of the better safeties in the league, and you got a really nasty defensive line. Like, you got Kristen Wilkins. This dude's a defensive tackle that plays like he's a linebacker. You got Jalen Phillips, who's one of the more underrated pass rushers in the game. And you got Bradley Chubb. And I know Bradley Chubb didn't really look promising when he got traded to the Dolphins, but he's being reunited with his former head coach. Vic Vangio got the most out of Bradley Chubb when he was the head coach for the Denver Broncos. So for the Miami Dolphins, they have one of the talent, one of the most talented defenses in the NFL this year and a really talented offense. This is one of the best rosters overall and the league minus the offensive line like this team is good enough to win a championship and when you look at this division i mean this division is going to be tough like i feel like some people are sleeping on buffalo i'm kind of sleeping on the buffalo bills i don't know how you guys feel about the bills but i think the bills are probably going to be like a wild card team this year i really feel like the jets are going to be really good with how good that defense is going to be but they have some questions on the offensive line like you guys do also but i wouldn't sleep on aaron Rodgers. But honestly, like, the Miami Dolphins, they're going to have a good defense. They're going to have a great offense. But the Jets' defense is like that, too. So that could go either way. But you compare them to the other teams, it's like you got a good shot against, you know, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Like, I don't think the Jaguars have arrived yet. Like, I think that the Dolphins have the third best chances of being able to make it to the AFC Championship game. In the AFC, the teams that I have over them are the Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals simply for the fact that both of those teams have better offensive lines than the Miami Dolphins. And the Miami Dolphins offensive line may not be that bad as what people in the national media make it out to be, but it isn't as good as what the Bengals have and the Ravens have. I mean, they got studs all over their offensive line. But for the Miami Dolphins, though, if their offensive line can play slightly better than expectations from most people and Tua stays healthy, this is a team that's going to be in that mix. But those are the only two teams that I really have over the Dolphins. Like, this is a really talented team. Like, they got speed all over this field, man. How many people are going to be able to slow down the combination of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle plus Robbie Anderson? Like, I think Robbie Anderson is going to be a way better number three than what they were expecting who was that dude they signed? Cedric Wilson? They That dude's not a good fit in that offense. Like, he ain't got no wills like that for real. Getting Robbie Anderson was a really underrated addition, and Robbie Anderson is not that bad. Like, Robbie Anderson is a really good number three. Now, he may give you a couple of big drops here and there, but Robbie Anderson is a really good number three. He's a really good fit in this offense. And Mike McDaniels, he showed some really good things last year, even though I do think he has a little bit more to 
show this year because last year he did have some games where that offense got locked up. Like, there was no reason why your offense should have got locked up Sunday night against the L.A. Chargers against a Brandon Staley coach defense. They had hella injuries that game. But outside of that, like, I do think he needs to be a little better with being balanced. Sometimes he can have a tendency to go pass heavy and seem to forget about the run game. But if he can be a little bit better with getting the run game going and, you know, committing to it more and not getting away from it when it's successful, I think this Dolphins team is probably going to end up being in that conversation. Like, they probably have, in my opinion, the best team in the AFC East, even though I'm picking the Jets to win the AFC East. But I think the Dolphins are going to be up there. And then when you look at them compared to the rest of the AFC, like the rest of the AFC doesn't have the kind of talent that the Dolphins have. Maybe you can use their offensive line as a knock on them, which is my knock on them. But outside the offensive line, like this team is stacked. So I think that the Dolphins are going to be one of the best teams in the NFL this year as long as Tua can stay healthy. So let me know what you guys think about the Miami Dolphins down in the comment section down below. How good do you think the Dolphins are going to be this year?